Has anyone ever challenged you to something you are an expert at without them knowing it? I'm a professional fighter and I worked as security guard for a while. So many times people have challenged me to fight and they had no real training, but somehow 95% of all men think they can fight. And now look at me, I'm like 5'8", you know, I'm kind of short, I'm kind of, you know, laughing. And, and the worst about it is, you know, I love fighting. So I'm going to be many times, you know, laughing and having fun when they want to challenge me for a fight and they maybe think I'm stupid and, you know, it's happened many times. But the best of all was, and I kid you not, like that one time I was in a, in Steiner Hilby, you know, like it's a local, it's a small village here, you know, and it's very famous, like over 2000 people go there. And so it's huge. And so, and then one guy was starting troubles. Okay. And then I, I went there, it was a young guy, a baba, and he, he looked at me and said, ah, oh, you gotta be careful, man, I'm training MMA. And I'm like, why are you training MMA? What is great for you? Like, I'm training with Peter Mettler. And I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm Peter Mettler. And I'm like, I'm having so many students, you know, like, they, they maybe forget his face, you know, did he train with me a couple years ago? And then it dawned me, you know, like, even if I would, even if I would have forgotten his face, why would he not recognize me? So he just, he just randomly knew that there's this guy, Peter Metta, teaching MMA around here, and he just told them that he was training with me. That's gotta be the most stupid way somebody challenged me to a fight, trying to threaten me that he learned MMA from me, even though he even didn't. So uh, of all the stupid ways people challenge me without knowing that I can fight, that's the number one.